بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد وأوحى ربك إلى النحل الله سبحانه وتعالى إنسبايد تبي أن يتخذي من الجبال بيوتا that make hives in the mountains in the trees and that which men's build which as human beings have built Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah nahl has discussed the bounties of Allah the zahiri apparent bounties of Allah from the creation of men to the animals etc to the batin wahi and revelation so like how the bee an entire surah was mentioned and the product of the bee is shifa because it follows instructions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likewise this insan in their life of this world if they follow the instructions of Allah then the result will be honey in dunya and honey in akhirat as well يخرج من بطونها شراب مختلف ألوانه from the stomach of this bee Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala produces shifa ulinas something that is a healing and a benefit for humanity how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned females here that the honey bee female bees are the ones that have the primary responsibility for the hive and the honey and likewise the production of the honey is through the female bee so ya allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if somebody had to object in 1400 years ago it was not possible for anybody to know that there's a separate stomach who's dedicated and specialized for the production of honey a sahabi came to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the narration in bukhari and muslim as abu said khudri radiyallahu an and he said that in akhi istatlaqa batnuhu that my brother has diarrhea is there any solution so nabi alayhi salam said give him honey so he came back inni saqaydu falam yazidhu illa istitlaqan that i don't see any apparent benefit except that the condition has worsened so nabi alayhi salam said give him honey for the second time third time then nabi alayhi salam told him sadaq allah wa kadhaba batnu akhik wa kama qal allah has spoken the truth and the stomach of your brother is bilain give him honey fasaqahu fa bari'a he gave him honey and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him shifa he recovered So we have to understand besides the knowledge yaqeen in Quran and hadith that deen is for dunya in akhirat It is said that in 2015 archaeologists found a 3000 year old honey container while they were excavating the tombs in Egypt and it was perfectly edible so this is a special creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is amongst the bounties and ni'am which bacteria cannot grow and if we look at the cooperation and the organization of the bees how orderly they are how disciplined how they optimize in achieving results 
the ability to survive, the ability to produce, the ability to function in cohesion. So I must say that's the other lesson with regards to the bee that they follow the mashwara, the decision, the rules. The queen bee sets the rules and you need to follow the instructions. So whatever mashwara has decided, whatever the amamir of Allah, we need to follow that. So there are approximately around 20,000 species of bees and from the engineering to the architecture, from all the creations of Allah. And that's one of the hikmah that I explain where Allah has specifically named an entire surah to commemorate the achievement and the speciality of this makhluk creation of Allah. So for us just to understand that a normal 450-500 grams of honey which we buy so easily. Researchers say it takes 17,000 bees and they have to visit 10 million flowers. So an average bee to find the food that it requires visits 500 flowers on a journey and if you have to put it into hours, you're looking at around 7,000 hours of work to get just 450 grams of honey. Fihi shifa'u linnas, cure, what is in honey? We have different ingredients, dextrose, sucrose, fructose, Iron, lime, sodium, sulfur, magnesium, phosphorus, pollen, manganese, aluminum, calcium, copper, albumin, dextrin, nitrogen, and a lot of nutritious ingredients. Say 25% of vegetable protein, 18 amino acids, 8 basic amino acids, a lot of vitamins. 28 minerals, 11 enzymes, 11 carbohydrates. So this is something which is power packed, which has been used in history many generations for Shifa and cure. So one is the normal honey, but from the ayat, the Mufassirin explain that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the ayat of the Quran first speaks about Jibal. Mountains. So they say the best honey, honey is the mountain honey. Mina shajar and then the ones that are found in forests. And the last one is the ones closest to men. So we have to source out honey. Let us try to source out honey that is original from the mountain, not connected, where nowadays most of it is made of sugar and is far from what honey should be. So a person should not get caught in the trap of saving money and compromising on the quality of the honey that we should be purchasing. Among the types of honey is the royal jelly and it has more compounds because it's rich in hormones, minerals, vitamin B, folic acid, fatty acids, Acetylcholine, which is uh, a deficiency which results generally, scientifically they say, causes Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's and other diseases of the nervous system. So advices have been given that for a person to protect themselves from this should have royal jelly. Then it has amino acids, proteins, fats, carbohydrates, it has aspartic acid, Aspartic acid is special because uh, it plays an important role in renewing and, and strengthening soft tissue in the body. Also, royal jelly has antibacterial, antiviral, nutritional, anti-aging properties. So people want to look younger and want to rejuvenate their cells. So here's a solution. 
Then people have respiratory, skeletal, nervous, endocrine, cardiovascular, immune and cellular deficiencies. It assists and strengthens all of this. It stimulates hormone balance, regulates and normalizes hormonal and metabolic functions. Then with regards to skin, it protects the skin, it treats the skin, it helps in chronic fatigue, trauma. If a person's weak, it raises energy levels, lowers cholesterol, fat levels. Then we have an issue where people's arteries start getting hard and that impacts on the flow of blood and may be a cause for other illnesses. So it prevents the hardening of arteries. Also, it helps in protecting the liver, building bone and muscle, supporting grown, bone growth. It's good for memory if a person is forgetful. Weight stabilization. So a person who is obese also, there are some methods where a person takes the honey. It will help in obesity. The doctors in Germany can on research, they use royal jelly to feed malnourished and premature babies. And they found that these babies' health and weight improved when they were fed royal jelly. Likewise, they tested it on patients who had nervous and psychological problems. And it found that it stabilized the mental structures. So, People who have joint infections, certain diseases of the arteries, ulcers, liver problems, etc. Royal jelly. We should try to consume. Then people generally take honey, but ideally we should go for raw honey. Because raw honey has all the amino acids, about 22, then the minerals, around 31 of them, vitamins, enzymes. So... Raw honey has those bioactive plant compounds which the processed honey does not possess. Then the normal regular honey which is filtered does not contain any pollen. So when a bee travels from a flower to another flower, it collects the nectar and the pollen. That is taken to the hive, they are packed in the comb, and it's a food source for the bee. So they say in the pollen there are approximately 250 substances from vitamins to amino acids to essential fatty acids, micronutrients, antioxidants. If uh, you go into Germany, the Federal Ministry of Health recognizes bee pollen as a medicine and has been linked to a lot of benefits from fighting inflammation to people who have uh, improper fun functioning of the liver, assist in helping fight heart disease and stroke. But nowadays, the first problem is it is not raw, secondly not organic, and number three, it is filtered. So to find unfiltered raw and organic honey, that is the best option. So generally, raw honey compared to your regular honey, there's a very big difference because it contains a lot of things which are processed, filtered honey does not contain. So there is some honeys are pasteurized, processed, and uh, some plantations where the bees extract the pollen have pesticides, chemicals, pesticides, chemicals, and other ingredients which may be harmful. So try to go for unfiltered, organic, natural honey. Then from the honey that we mentioned previously the mountain honey which is a thousand meters above sea level which is natural it is more thicker it is more darker but it is more potent as well 
After that, go to forest honey. And this is more potent. Then you get the normal honey. So mountain honey is quite expensive, but more valuable. So a person should decide, for example, if it's the first thing that you have in the morning, and it's the one spoon, then go for your mountain honey. And if it's a replacement for sugar, then use a, a honey that's not so expensive, not so strong in flavor that will affect the taste. But at the same time, try to go organic and natural and unfiltered and raw. Then there has been a hype about Manuka honey, which comes from New Zealand, which helps fight sinus infections, ulcers, cancer cells, especially for treating infected wounds, burns, eczema, and other skin problems. So there's a thing called the UMF, and the, the, the rating, which the Manuka honey, it's a grading system. So we have the MGO, which is the methyl glyoxyl level, and then the UMF. So generally people go, the higher it is, the more expensive. Allah knows best. More than that, when we buy in a honey, and uh, the ones that we've seen coming from Malaysia have the honey included in it. So if we can get this, then this is the best, Allah alam. In that honey, you have royal jelly, you've got propolis, you've got the pupa, you've got pollen, you've got bee wax, you've got bee venom. Because the hive, which has all these ingredients, needs to be included in the honey. So, try to stay away. There's a lot of fake honey as well in the market. If a person takes a spoonful of honey in warm water and it stays lumpy and it doesn't dissolve, that's a sign of a genuine honey. Then secondly is that if we put it into a wick or cotton pad and we light it, so you dip it into the honey and light it, if it burns very easily, then there's no water to it and no other substances. And that's the one that's more closest to being genuine. But if it doesn't burn, but you hear a cracking sound, possibility of other ingredients and water as well being added. Now to really appreciate honey, we need to get into the management systems and understand why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised this creation so much. So from amongst the bees, we have first the queen bee, which is twice the length of the normal worker bee. And uh, the age of the queen bee is normally three to five years. Then we have the drone, which is the male bee. They do not do any work, but they literally marry the queen bee. And their lifespan is about three months. A little bit bigger than the worker bees. And they have a larger buzzing sound. So, what happens is that the worker bees, which is the largest group of the hive, in a normal colony you have 20 to 90,000 in a normal colony. They collect the nectar, the water, the plants, the proteins, the vitamins, the carbohydrates, they care for the queen, the lava, the bees, they build the nest cells. They keep the nests from the enemies, they keep it clean, and they have the weapon, which is the sting. And uh, the worker bee's life is between 35 and 42 days, but this entire ecosystem, if you look at the lives of these bees and how they manage, it's, it's, it's just from the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The amal for today is to protect one's private parts. If a woman reads a five salat and protects her chastity and obeys her husband, she will enter Jannah whichever door she likes. Nabi Alaihi Salaam told Sahaba, Ya Shabab Quraysh, O youth of Quraysh, 
احفظوا فروجكم protect your private parts and do not commit adultery because the one who protects their private parts is a sign that they are jannatis may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen